Winner of Falling Walls Venture New York, Grow Squares, presented by its CEO and co-founder, Zachary Whitman. Hey guys, um, I'm Zachary. Uh, thanks so much, Craig, for the lovely introduction. So let me tell you a problem that I had personally. So a couple of years back, I went out to check on my garden, found the entire thing covered in bugs. Wasn't much of a gardener at the time. So I didn't know if these are the good kind of bugs that I kept hearing about or something I should be worried about. But what I did know is they were really motivated because my backyard garden, it's actually my balcony, uh, at the time was 19 stories up in the middle of Mount, uh, you know, midtown Manhattan. So I'm sitting there, uh, do think like a lot of people would do. Um, not sure what to do, so I went on Google. Uh, uh, after about 30 minutes, I found out these are things called tomato hornworms. Left unchecked, they could eat through your garden less than a day. So as I'm sitting there picking these things off one by one, the thought occurs to me, you know, if I'm having problems growing a garden in about the most inoculated and isolated environment as you can get, can't be the only one. Turns out I'm not. Now two thirds more so uh, of urban gardeners uh, say they are either extremely dissatisfied or disappointed uh, in growing their own garden. Even among expert gardeners, about 90% say they don't even know what the right plants are for their own neighborhood. So we're coming up with a solution that we think addresses this. It's called Grow Squares. It's a two-part urban gardening solution made up first of a ser uh, series of one squ uh, square foot garden toppers containing everything you need to grow one particular plant and an app to help you out along the way. So what does the app do? Well, it's primarily designed to ensure you grow the right plants for your own microenvironment. To do that, you take your phone, identify the exact size and configuration of your plot. Then, put it down. Within 30 seconds, we pull from 12 different databases that tell us a whole host of things about your particular spot. So that's gonna be your sunlight profile, it's gonna be your weather forecast, both historical and future looking. Um, it's gonna be the micronutrient deficiencies in your neighborhood on a block by block basis. It all helps us to figure out the right configuration of plants. Just as importantly though, it tells us what is you're missing from your soil. So these are gonna be the nutrients, the bacteria, um, the, uh, the minerals that your particular plot needs. What we do is we aggregate them all together, press them into a square foot block, at the center of which are the seeds of the plants that uh, our algorithms suggest you have. Um, we wrap them in this mushroom uh, built, very nutrient dense wrapping. Um, take it, package them up, and send them to, uh, to our users. Once you're there, all you have to do is lay out the garden according to what our uh, recommendation engine says is the, uh, prop, uh, sorry, the appropriate way to lay these things out according to all kind of agreed upon gardening principles. You water and germination occurs. Once you're up and running, our app tells you well, how much to water, when exactly, um, if, our, you know, if our estimates and our algorithms are correct, tells you what your yield can be anticipated. Um, it's all really just designed to be as simple and fun as you can get. So what makes us different from, you know, there's a bunch of gardening apps and, uh, and hardware products out there. Most of the hardware products, they're pretty expensive. They're a host of these sensors that tell you your exact uh, sunlight level. Um, they'll tell you the nutrients in your, in your space. We don't have a hardware pro uh, solution, and that's really what differentiates us and we think makes our product much more scalable and can be used and adopted everywhere in the world. So for example, this is the neighborhood we're in right now. Um, this is both uh, is ra uh, radar data, so it's gonna be LIDAR, it's gonna be synthetic aperture radar, um, it's gonna be soil analysis. We can do this in pretty much any city in the world. And as the cost of remote radar imaging, uh, as CubeSats gets cheaper and cheaper and gets a little bit more accurate in terms of their resolution, uh, we can not only do it for cities, but we'll start being doing it for, for smaller cities uh, and hopefully the countryside as well. Um, we're working with actually two farms right now, the two largest farms in New York City, uh, to deliver recommendations for what we should do for, for nutrient editing, uh, or so additives. Um, and thus far, uh, our results have been really promising. Uh, reduction of crop failures and increased yields for, for the farms. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for your time.